Hi everybody, thank you guys for being here. I'm gonna be doing a requested reading on Sydney Sweeney. So how requested readings work is you email me, it's the same procedure as it used to be a year ago. It's a paid requested reading and you email me, we discuss everything and whether you want the reading to go on my YouTube channel or you want me to send it to you privately is totally up to you. So requested readings either can be unlisted and then you'll just get the link for it or I could put it for everybody. So thank you for our sponsor today. We're going to be doing a psychic reading on Sydney Sweeney. I'm looking at a picture of her on Instagram and I'm already getting that then the word fawn, F-A-W-N. Um, I know what a fawn is. I think it's kind of similar to a fairy. I haven't researched a fawn in a long time. I don't really see them a lot when I do these readings. Usually when I do celebrities, it's just either reptilian or um, sometimes fairy and most of the time witch. I would probably say the order that would be in for most common things I see is witch, king, queen, uh, reptilian, and then so forth. Anyways... <laughs> And if you guys don't know what that is, just watch my videos. I kind of explain it, and I don't want to, like, talk you guys to death with these long intros explaining everything. All right, so I'm getting the fact that she is very drained. I feel like she argues with her parents a lot about where she is in life now. So from my understanding, she is a successful actress in a TV show uh, called Euphoria, and I'm not exactly sure how old she is. I am seeing like she has kind of some problems with her mother, a mother figure. She loves her mother a lot, but there's some subconscious stuff there about uh, a mother wound, and I'm kind of getting that either her parents are both together, or uh, she just deals with them like, she spends a lot of time with him, but I'm getting, like, a, a parental kind of wound from her. She might have been a child actress. I feel like there's just been a lot of pressure about her making her way into the industry for so long. I feel like a lot of people have really killed her self-esteem with not giving her opportunities to do this before. And now she feels like, all right, I'm here, but this is kind of all fake because these opportunities came by a game of chance where she thinks she got lucky However, people wouldn't be treating her the way they would if she was not this famous. She feels like people are constantly looking at her, waiting to take her opportunities away. She, she has this mentality of like, oh, they'll take my opportunity. As soon as somebody else comes, it's better. They'll take my opportunity. I don't think she shows it, but it's like an anxiety thing she has in the back of her head. She also feels like she's very brand new at this. Even though she might have had some experience, she's very brand new to the, the level of fame she has now. And she's trying to understand it and come accustomed to it. But internally, she's like, all right, I should not be here. She kind of has like that imposter syndrome from what I'm getting. A lot of, uh, she feels very overwhelmed and uh, that people are pulling her in different places and that I have to do every single thing for them because my spot's going to be taken from me. Very strange. She's a beautiful girl. I'm just getting this is like a lot of pressure from her family growing up. She might just have, you know, some kind of anxiety though as well. She, I'm getting a really good energy from her though. She's a very nice person, I feel, if you met her in person. She has a really good heart. It's just, she's scared. I'm getting like a lot of fear from her. She's, she's afraid and she's a very gentle person so she's not gonna push back and I don't feel like she would be the type of person to purposely create controversy about her. 
which is kind of why I feel like she has this imposter syndrome because she just has a lot of fear and she feels like she doesn't deserve to be where she is right now okay angelic it's me Okay, as I'm invoking angels to help me further with this reading, I'm getting there is something like a lost soul fragment from her. They're saying she had a past life as a fawn and that this life is very different from her. This might be one of her first or, or few incarnations as a human. I'm getting like a lot of fawn energy from her. If you don't know what a fawn is, it has to do with the fairy realm. So you can look up fawns, fairies, and um, there should be some like occult website. You can look that up more. This th this is very unfamiliar to her, her, her life as a human. I I'm getting like so much elemental energy around her. And she feels kind of misplaced as well. As, as much as I think she's a very nice and, and beautiful woman, she has this deep sadness about her. And I see this deep sadness in a lot of star seeds. I more so get an elemental energy from her, but this sadness is what's keeping her soul from experiencing, like, contentment. You know what I mean? has to do with past lives, has to do with not being accustomed to the way humans live here on Earth. Also has to do with men in the past that she's been in relationship with in relationships with. Um, I'm hearing these are men that have been famous that she might have not really publicized or just men that she really liked that really put her down. A lot of putting down a lot of like childhood putting down you need to be the best in order to get here very sensitive like very i would consider her a highly sensitive person that's not a bad thing i'm just saying that's why they're saying that even though these people were doing it, it was normal to them like her family it was normal it was a normal way to raise a child or the men you know we all know how men are but <laughs> It was nothing like out of the ordinary. It was just that she was she took things in very deeply, like internally, what people did to her. I do I do see her making very deep friendships in this lifetime. I feel like she is very surrounded. I'm not talking about her family, I'm talking about her friends. Her friends very much understand her. And she has a really good support system from her friend group. <clears throat> There's people that are on her path that are there to bless her and keep her sane because it's hard for her to relate to other people that are a little bit harsher in Hollywood. Oh, I feel like this woman is very blessed. I feel like spirit is really helping her get move on her way. She's Definitely a light being. I'm not getting really anything dark from her at all. I, I would say she's a highly sensitive person, very um, a happy spirit internally. It's just there's kind of a disconnect from her and her life here on Earth that's making her feel kind of out of place. Genuine person. I feel like she is a really good friend to, to people. Okay, I know you guys are going to ask me about her love life, and I feel like she is really focused on her career. She's been betrayed by men before, and it's almost like they're saying she's too sensitive for a man. I don't know what that is. You guys know I don't really necessarily discuss sexuality on here, and I'm not saying anything, but I feel like she needs a lot of healing from male relationships, also parental relationship her relationship with her parents 
there were just harsh things said that really stuck to her. And I feel like it's going to take a lot for a man to really, or whatever, to really get in, you know, like for her to really be comfortable with them. I see her with a lot of opportunities that are very aligned. She's very much in alignment with her life purpose. That, that's what they keep saying. When I say she's blessed, that's what I mean. Like she's very just in alignment with where she's meant to be in life at this point. So I see more and amazing opportunities that she's meant to be in come to her. I see a lot of amazing friendships that she's going to have. And she is, she's going to break out of that, that, that hurt and pain. I feel like she might actually do like sound healing or something. I'm seeing something like New Age for her that she could go into and try and release. They're also saying like some type of counseling to release some of this pain. Um... But that's what I'm seeing for her, guys. I will probably do a follow-up reading on her in a year or two. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And let me know who you guys would like to see next. I take everybody's suggestions into consideration, especially if I get multiple suggestions of the same person. Um, but anyways, I'm doing a sale now. Everything is in the, li the link in the description. I will try and do another travel vlog you guys voted on that on my instagram and yeah i'll see you guys next time